Our experiences in the military are vastly different in many ways. These experiences are shaped by which branch we serve in, what technical expertise is required, and what type of units we spend time in, and most importantly, who we serve alongside. While our experiences can be different in many ways, there is a significant uniquely military aspect that is found in all branches, and that is leadership. The United States military invests heavily in developing leaders more than any other organization. Military leaders are a national asset funded by taxpayers, yet their talents are often underutilized after their service. Small business ownership represents a viable career path for these leaders. However, support from the majority of Americans who have not served is crucial. While many Americans appreciate military service, they often can't distinguish between those who left the service early and those with proven leadership experience. Developing any skill set requires two things, repetitions and intensity. Practice makes perfect. The more intense the environment is that we practice in, the more effective the practice is. In the military, leadership is developed in training environments. NCOs and officers go through the months or even years of training before they are assigned to lead other service members. Those assignments have varying levels of intensity based on the mission of the unit that they're assigned to lead. The DIP score has three variables. Duration represents how long a service member was in a leadership role in months. Intensity is defined by whether or not the service member was in a direct action unit, a direct service unit, or a support unit. Finally, Performance is based on documented evaluations of the service member's demonstrated leadership abilities. Each of these three variables can be represented by an objective number. Duration times intensity times performance results in a numeric score. Here's an example of a career NCO. He's had seven different leadership positions over his career. And we can see how long he was in each role, how intense it was on a scale of one to three, and how his senior rater rated his performance. Above average results in a three, average a two, and below average would be a one. We can multiply these three variables to get a score for each position and a score for the entire span of experience as a leader. Here's another example of an officer who served for eight years she served in three leadership roles. Her score is lower than the NCO's in the other example, simply because the NCO has more experience or reps than this officer. A DIP score provides a more objective way to reflect a military leader's experience. By being objective, it rewards leadership success in the military by providing a meaningful metric to the civilian world once military service ends. It is not correlated to rank at all. The DIP score provides a valuable metric for civilian supporters of veterans, like hiring managers, bankers, and investors, much like a credit score does. These stakeholders don't necessarily have to know what's behind the score itself to know that the higher the number, the more experience the veteran has as a leader. Finally, it serves as a recruiting tool. Military service would be even more beneficial for those that volunteer if they had a good way to show people who may not understand military leadership firsthand that they now possess leadership ability based on their military service. So we invite you to get your score today. It's free. By filling out the form, we'll issue an unverified score. If you'd like a verified score, we require that you submit documentation like NCOERs, OERs, and your DD-214. You can always get a verified score later. Thanks for your interest in this concept, and we invite you to get yours today.